Hello everybody, how's it going? Ernest, also known as Greater Toronto Birding here, guys, and welcome to my new YouTube video. First off, guys, this is going to be uh, the first time I'm just going to make a little introduction to this video just to explain what it's about and some few other key points. First off, I'd like to thank uh, those birders at OntBirds who, uh, who sent the email notifications on messaging everybody that uh, Cave Swallows and a single red follow-up had been sighted at Bronte Beach Park. Uh, luckily, uh, many of us birders were able to catch both of the birds. For those who didn't see my red follow-up video, it's in the link or uh, it's in the link or uh, the comments. The bird was sighted at the beach area of the park, whereas the cave swallow, which is featured in this video, was sighted in the harbor area of the park. Was observed for over two to three hours by many birders. One single uh, uh, looked to, looks to be a juvenile bird. Um, so this bird was flying around, very acrobatic flyer. At times the bird was 50 to 100 feet from us and at times he was uh, 2 feet from us actually. So here's a short video that I compiled for you guys. Hope, hopefully it's not too bad of the bird flying around. Um, this bird has been brung up by the warm fronts uh, that we've been experiencing recently. Most likely around the Texas area and unfortunately if these birds, because they were more sighted, if these birds do uh, stay in the area, they will not survive the winter, unfortunately. So hopefully they venture back down south to where they originated from. Other than that, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully it's good. And uh, that's all I have to say. So please like, comment, and subscribe. And enjoy the video of this uh, nice little acrobatic flyer. This guy's quite an acrobatic flyer. Really, really good. over here. Awesome. There it was. Right there. Yeah, next weekend. Next weekend. Yeah. 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 Yeah.